Hey folks, it's Duke here from Geofolk. Today we'll work on batch projecting in ArcGIS Pro. So we're in ArcGIS Pro right here. And let's say we have several feature classes over here and we want to project these, all of these. So what can we do? I mean, we can go one by one and project all of them by going to analysis tools and then typing in here, we can type in project and that will get us to the tool that we want to use. And we can do that one by one, but that would be extremely time consuming. So let's not do that. But what we can also do is we can right click on the project tool and we can click batch here. Okay. So what do we want to batch? We want to batch the input data set or feature class. So we can click next once we have that selected. And then we get into our tool actually. So this is where batch input data set or feature class. This is where we'll put the feature classes where we want to change the coordinate system to or which coordinate system we want to project to. So what we can do is if there's multiple ones, you can drag and drop each individually by clicking and dragging and dropping. Or what we could do is let's say we want to select Wyoming through Vermont. We could click on Wyoming first, then hold shift, then go click Vermont, and then I'll select everything in between it. Then we can drag and drop all of this into this tool function here, and that will bring those over. And if there's not if there's not a list of where you want everything in between, what you can do is let's say we want Utah, Texas, and South Dakota. We can hit control, click Utah or let's clear first, but we'll hit Utah, control, Texas, and then South Dakota. And then we can click and drag those three in as well. Okay, so now we have the feature class that we want to batch project. So now what we want to do is find the geo database under output data set or feature classes. We can click the folder here. And we'll go and find the one that we want to project to. So let's use this deal database. So what we want to do now is give it a name that will take all the values that already exist within the feature class names and save that as the new feature class. So what we can do is we can type percent sign name and then percent sign. So if you were to leave it like this, you would actually get an error because you're starting off with a percent sign. So what we want to do here is maybe we can put a dash and then put P which stands for or just represents reject, project for our purposes. And then we can save that. Okay. So now what that's going to do is as the tools running through all of these versions, it'll give a specific name after this P and this underscore. All right. So now let's pick the output coordinate system. So you can either pick this drop down arrow and select the coordinate system of things in the map, or you can click this gold here. So I know I want to put this into web Mercator, right? So I can, I know my base map's already in that, so I'll click the layers and I'll select that web Mercator as the output coordinate system and click OK. Okay, once you have that, what we can do is we can click Run. And now you'll see it down here. It's doing it for multiple of the feature classes at once. Instead of having to go on through and click and hit the project tool for each one, we're doing it all at once. Okay. Once the tool is running successfully, you'll see that was probably entered into your map and we can come down here and we can see the P and then we see the name of the feature class that we wanted. So now we can go to properties and go to source and just check to make sure we project it in what we wanted. So now we found a way to project multiple feature classes and to save some time doing that. Hope this video helps and thanks. Hope to see you guys soon. If you found this video helpful, please like subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more content.